In a shocking development from Manipur, the state capital was rocked by a blast on Friday evening, followed by the reported torching of the United Committee Manipur office at Lamphale a few hours later by unknown individuals. The blast, which occurred at around 9.20 p.m. at the office of the All Manipur Students' Union, or AMSO, inside the Thanamanjuri University campus in Thangme Band, Imphal, killed one individual, Oinam Kennedy, age 24, and injured another who was later admitted to Raj Medicity. Shortly after the blast, a letter purportedly by the UNLF Central Special Force addressed to the editors, Guild Manipur and All Manipur Working Journalists Union went viral on social media. The letter urged the mentioned media bodies to refrain from attending a feast program organized by the UNLF Pambe faction and its affiliated AMSU group on February 24 and to restrain from publishing any news related to AMSU, citing it as an internal matter purportedly involving factional issues within the student union. The letter also recounted a previous incident of a confrontation on September 10, 2022, when the armed UNLF Pambe faction and its associated AMSU group attempted to forcefully occupy the AMSU office located inside the Thanamanjuri University campus. Following this, the state government had clamped CRPC Section 144, restricting public movement within the campus. However, Flouting the CRPC Section 144, on December 6, 2023, the armed UNLF Pambe faction and its sponsored AMSU group forcefully occupied the AMSU office and brutally tortured the AMSU Vice President and General Secretary who attempted to resist the illegal occupation of the Union office. Since then, the armed UNLF Pambe faction and its sponsored AMSU group have been stationed at the union office inside the university campus, the outfit stated in its letter to the media bodies. Following the blast at the AMSU office, unknown miscreants reportedly burned down the office of United Committee Manipur, considered the apex body of Meite civil bodies in the valley. UNLF is one of the seven Meite extremist organizations banned by the Union government under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of 1967. It has primarily operated from camps and training bases in Myanmar's Sagaing region, Chin State and Rakhine State, with support from the Myanmar military. The UNLF Pambe faction had recently signed a peace agreement with the government of India and of Manipur on November 29, 2023, which has been criticized for allegedly granting free hands to the militant group for engaging in extortion and other illicit activities in the valley while attacking the Kukizo in fringe areas.